Hey, it's Don W6GPS, and today we're going to play D Star Hangman. And you're saying, what in the world is that all about? Well, why am I doing this? Because some of you are making this so complicated. It's easy, folks. It's easy. And so I'm going to explain a few things for you. First of all, in D Star, there's a thing called My Call. And that's going to be your call sign. Not to be confused with you are call, but my call is the call sign that you put in your radio. And speaking of radios, we're going to be using for this demonstration the D74 Kenwood and one of my handy uh, zoom spots. Okay? So this only pertains to a D74 and a zone spot. There are, other, uh, there are other radios out there and there are other uh, hot spots to use but uh, a lot of you are getting me, getting me bombarding me with questions and that's why I'm making this video. So on our first thing of hangman is I want you to get a card or write down with eight spaces and we know what hangman is, that's a game we've all played. And eight spaces is real important because it's going to help us to figure out what to do. So, RPT-1, uh, you're going to see that later in the programming software, is going to be the call sign, W6GPS, your call sign, not to be confused with you are call. But anyway, RPT-1 with a zoom spot is going to be W6GPS with a B. RPT-2 is going to be my call sign with a G. Okay? And that also matches up in your hot spot. It's confusing because you are call is not your call, although some people call it your Y-O-U-R call. And you get confused thinking it's my call and your call. You see the confusion? Your call is actually you are call and what are we going to be to do? What are we going to tell our system to do? That's what the UR call field is for. So for example here, here's a UR call field. We use all eight spaces. REF for reflector, 0, 3, 0, C for the module, and L, Lima, for linking. So in the UR call field, we're going to be telling our zone spot to go to 30 Charlie. Is that simple? Is that easy? Do we understand that part of it? Okay, let's move on. So maybe you're not going to be using a reflector, but a XRF reflector. And so I'm using an example here. This one's from the Papa system out on the West Coast. XRF 0, 1, 2, Alpha, Link. So when you put that in there, your system is going to link to that reflector. So another UR call that you have to have is CQ, CQ, CQ. Now remember folks, when you go to these different reflectors and when you go to uh, repeaters, and again I'm only demonstrating with a hot spot so don't be confused with repeaters, but CQ, 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 if that is in the UR call, whatever you've told the radio to do to link to a reflector or to a repeater, when you go to CQ, 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 that means you can talk. That means you're talking. All right, there's another UR call, and that's D star one. And that's just, you don't use the last two fields there, but it's D star one. And you can use D star one through four, and that's for a quad net. And uh, that has uh, D star, uh, 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 see D star uh, reflectors, has a DMR, and uh, Fusion all hooked together. It's called a quad net, but that's another video. And you can use D-Star 1 through 4. Basically, if you're hooked up to 1, you're hooked up to all. So, remember, here's another one that some people just don't get. You are call info. It's always going to be in the last spot. That's a I. That's information. So once you've linked to a reflector, or a repeater, when you hit the I, it echoes back in your radio and it tells you what you're hooked up to. Here's another one. 
It's called UR. That's unlink. Remember, it's in the last space. Everything, this command right here, the U, the L, those have to be in the last space. Now, then there's one called E or echo, and it's just what a name means. So when you're connected to something and you go to an E in the UR call field, when you key down, you could talk. And what will happen is, is you can uh, say testing, uh, W6 GPS testing, and when you release it, it echoes back or reads back that little portion of audio that you just transmitted. Okay, folks, is that easy enough now? All right, so in your hotspot, you're going to have an RPT1 and an RPT2. So for my zone spot, RPT1 is my call sign W6 GPS. And real important, in the last spot, an RPT1 has to be a B. Or RPT2 has to be a G. A B means you're going in on a B, like the B module on 440. And G means you're going out. You gotta have those uh, filled and populated. And when we go to the programming software, you'll see why that's important. So here's a couple of uh, repeaters. And the main thing I've done this is you guys wanna link your zone spot on your D74 to particular repeaters. Here's Dallas, W5CF, with a C for the uh, C module, and the L for the link command. The C module is going to be in the, or the module you want to select, is going, always going to be in the seventh spot. Here's Battle Creek, where my buddy Terry, in, N8LN is, uh, W8DF, and CL. So, these are ones I want to be programming and giving you a demonstration. Now this one is in Folsom, Folsom, California, and it's KS6HRP is the repeater and CL for C module and link. But you have a whole long, the whole, every field is, all eight of the hangmans are filled up in that one. If you get something wrong, you're not, it's not going to work. Here's my repeater, W4PL. And uh, again, W4PL, we got some spaces right here. Gonna go Charlie module or C module, link. So there's that one. And yes, you can do this international. So here is GB7HU and the link information, and that's Hall, England. That's close to my uncle. He lives close to that one. So anyway, that is just the basic uh, commands and, and I can't make it any more simpler than that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to my computer and uh, I have the uh, things already programmed but I want to kind of go over it with you. Alright so here I've already programmed these things but I want to just get, show you what we got here. And I'm using the program um, the memory modes. So I got my uh, hotspot frequency Always do it in the DR mode. Always have a minus shift. Always have a zero offset if you're using a zone spot. And so what I've done is I programmed group uh, zero to be my like my CQ UR field so I can talk, my info so I can see what I'm linked to, my unlink if I want to unlink to a uh, unlink something, and E for echo. Now, you remember those, uh, remember those uh, repeaters I told you about, Battle Creek? Same frequency as my zone spot, DR mode, got to select DR mode. And here's where that UR call is, very important. W8DF space, space, and there's the Charlie module and the link. It is real important that you get this, the module in the seventh spot and the uh, linking command in the eighth spot. Remember that RPT1 and RPT2? You gotta have that too. Now this has to do with a zone spot. I know that there's other hot spots that use the word direct, but I'm just telling you, put your call sign with a B and a G and you'll be good to go. Here's my Chattanooga, here's my Chattanooga one uh, repeater. Here's my Hull England uh, repeater. Uh, here's one in Folsom. I did one in Malibu just to show you what happens if it doesn't work. And then here's Dallas, W5FC. And I also experimented by programming it in a DV mode. Now, what's gonna happen in the DV mode? Nothing's gonna happen. So 
It's just simplex, and for some reason, the Pi Star and the Zum Spot has to have that DR in there to show that, say, duplex, even though there's no offset. Just trust me, put everything in the DR mode. And then I programmed uh, my D Star uh, quad nets, uh, D Star 1 through 4 here. So that's how basically I program this thing. So I have other videos on my channel here that explain how to. Uh, program the software and put it in your radio but I'm not going to do that to you right now because I'm trying to make this short and, and simple alright so here's what I've done I've selected Battle I've selected Battle Creek okay and when I key it up see that little red circle Link to w -H -D -F, Charlie. so that's what happens I've linked it now up to Battle Creek. Don't want Battle Creek? I could switch to Chattanooga. Not linked. Okay, I didn't get a not link command. Maybe something's going on. But now we're going to go to Dallas. Here's California. Not linked. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it has to be unlinked. Okay, so let's try that. So, all right. So now we're in England. Link two G B seven H U Charlie. Okay, so it can be done, folks. And what I've done is I've taken the, I've taken the, um, the grouping. If you push the uh, left arrow here, and I've changed, and I've got my echo commands, I've got uh, my unlink command, I got my info, I got talk for CQ, so I can go right in here and do just a quick echo test, W6 GPS echo test. All right, so then if I want to unlink it, or I could talk, or I could send a unlink command. Not linked. Okay. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so I'm logged in. And with a quad net, all basically you have to do is just log in and talk. If after four or five hours there's no activity, you're, um, you're um, uh, logged out. So look folks, it's not that difficult, okay? It's not that difficult. The UR field is what you're telling the system to do. Remember, the modules in 7th, you've got the, um, the reflector, REF, uh, zero three zero uh, in the first six spots seventh spot is going to be the module and L is going to be link once you link to a reflector then you could use the CQ CQ to talk I know this is kind of kind of um, quick but everybody's asked me about going to uh, repeaters through a zone spot and you can do it so now sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's a variety of uh, variables, but at least I hope I showed you how to do it. If you need to contact me, just uh, email me at w6gps at yahoo.com.